How's it going, everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just wanted to come on here for a while and give him a review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Rampage from last night, which was December 9th, 2022. I gotta say, it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was John Moxley versus Kanosuke Takechita. That was a great match, but the ending to it, John Moxley went over with the bulldog choke. Now, after the match, before John Moxley could celebrate his victory, Hangman Page came out with a microphone and cut a promo saying, uh, talking about how Doc Sampson hasn't cleared him because of his head, so that'll give him a good excuse to do what he's about to do. So Hangman Page blinds... So Hangman Page attacked John Moxley and started beating the shit out of him. Then John Moxley got offense back, and so a brawl between John Moxley and Hangman Page ensued, and John Moxley got the got the better of it by slamming Hangman Page's head into the turn to the ring post. But during the brawl, the Blackpool Combat Club, which are Claudio Castagnoli and Wheeler Yuta, came out to break it up, and so after John Moxley got the better of the brawl, the Blackpool Combat Club, which are John Moxley, Claudio Castagnoli, and Wheeler Yuta, ended up going backstage, and and the medical personnel were tending to Hangman Page and everything. That was cool. That was after the match, by the way. Match two, it was Hikaru Shida versus The Bunny for the Regina DeWave title. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Hikaru Shida went over and retained the Regina DeWave title with the katana. Now, after the match, Jamie Hayter came out on stage and a stare down between Hikaru Shida in the ring and Jamie Hayter on the stage ensued and everything. That was cool. That was after the match, by the way. Match three, it was The Firm which are Lee Moriarty and W. Morrissey versus Izzy James and Clayton Bloodstone. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, the firm went over because W. Morrissey pinned Izzy James with the choke slam. And match four, which was the main event, it was Orange Cassidy versus Trent Seven. For the AEW All Atlantic title, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Orange Cassidy went over and retained the AEW All Atlantic title with the beach break. Now, before the match, as Orange Cassidy, along with the best friends, which are Trent Beretta, Chuck Taylor, and Dan Housen, came out, and Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford came out, and and Kip Sabian introduced his hand-picked -picked opponent, and it was revealed to be Trent Seven. That was cool. That was before the match, by the way. And after the match, before Orange Cassidy could celebrate his victory, Kip Sabian, Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford came into the ring, and Kip Sabian attacked Orange Cassidy and started beating the shit out of him. And as that was going on, Penelope Ford was holding the referee back, and... Kip Sabian ended up barking orders to Trent Seven, so Kip Sabian and Trent Seven ganged up on Orange Cassidy and beat the shit out of him, and as that was going on, Dustin Rhodes came out, and Kip Sabian got out of the ring and tried to attack Dustin Rhodes, but Dustin Rhodes ended up executing the power slam to Kip Sabian and laid him out, and then Dustin Rhodes got into the ring, and... Dustin Rhodes ended up beating the shit out of Trent Seven and then executed the power slam and laid Trent Seven out. And then as Trent Seven got as Kip Sabian and Trent Seven were laid out, Dustin Rhodes went over and tended to Orange Cassidy and helped him up and and uh Orange Cassidy celebrated his victory while Dustin Rhodes was looking on and everything. That was cool. That was after the match, by the way. Now, and that was match four and the main event, by the way. 
Now, besides the matches, Powerhouse Hobbs cut a promo talking about how he stayed in the streets of Oakland, California, and how no one has been able to stay a night out in the streets and of Oakland, California, and talking about how he's fought with blood all of his life and fights with all his blood, sweat, and tears and everything, and talked about how this was how 2023 was going to be his year and everything. Chuck was cool. Stokely Hathaway cut a promo talking about how Hook didn't have his foot on the rope when Lee Moriarty executed the Border City stretch to him in their match and everything, and Stokely Hathaway ended up offering Keisha to to go out to dinner to eat at the Waffle House because he had some MJF money left over and everything. Chuck was cool. AEW aired a vignette of the buildup of the match between Mercedes Martinez versus Athena for the Ring of Honor women's title at Ring of Honor's pay-per-view event Final Battle. Chuck was cool. Lexi Nair interviewed FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, while Lexi Nair brought up about FTR coming up short against the acclaimed for the AEW tag team titles, but were hit with the news of the Briscoes challenging them to a double dog collar match at Ring of Honor's pay-per-view event final battle for the for the Ring of Honor tag team titles. Well, Cash Wheeler was talking about how they lost the biggest title of their life tonight, which being the AEW tag team titles, and talked about how uh, they weren't going to sit there and whine, cry, and pout about it or and everything. And then Dax Harwood was talking about how they didn't win the AEW tag team titles, but they're going to be. Fa- ha- but talked about how a year ago to that date they met the Briscoes, and Dax Harwood talked about how at Ring of Honor's pay per view event final battle it was going to. Uh, be the last match between FTR and the Briscoes and Dax Harwood talked about how FTR was going to come out victorious and everything. Chuck was cool. Eddie Kingston and Ortiz cut a promo and Ortiz was talking about how he he's how he he was he's pissed off because the House of Black a- attacked him uh, after the Lumberjack match and last week on Rampage and everything, and then Eddie Kingston was talking about how he didn't care that he was going to join Ortiz and go after the House of Black and everything. Chuck was cool. Mark Henry interviewed Orange Cassidy along with Trent Beretta, Chuck Taylor, and... De- along with Trent Beretta and... Ch- Excuse me. Mark Henry interviewed Orange Cassidy along with Trent Beretta and Chuck Taylor and Kip Sabian along with Penelope Ford. Well, Mark Henry brought up to Kip Sabian that he's that that, that Kip Sabian will have a hand picked opponent against Orange Cassidy for the all the AEW All Atlantic title and talked about and asked Kip Sabian why can't he do it himself? Well Kip Sabian was talking about well Kip Sabian was saying, Mark, I would go after Orange Cassidy myself, but I was not, but I am not cleared by the doctor because of what Dustin Rhodes done to me Wednesday night on AEW Dynamite. But tonight, I have a hand-picked opponent, and that hand-picked opponent I have is my friend, and and my friend will take out Orange Cassidy and win the AEW All Atlantic Title. And Orange Cassidy was saying, "All right, can we can we just get this over with and get the action going?" And Kip Sabian was saying, I'm not done, Orange. Tonight, you're going to lose the AEW All-Atlantic title, and my hand-picked opponent, who is my friend, will take it from you. And you think you have tricks up your sleeve? Well, I do too. So, what's your trick up your sleeve? Your little creepy friend that hides under the ring? Well, Dan, then Dan Housen came along and, and got by Mark Henry and was saying, it was like, saying, well, looks like there's been enough talk. And Mark Henry was saying, Dan Housen, don't. 
that's my line. Dan Housen said, no, Mark, that's my line. And Mark Henry said, well, looks like there's been enough talk. And Dan Housen was saying, quit stealing my line, Mark Henry. Mark Henry was saying, it's time for the main event and everything. Which was cool. And the Shane Taylor promotions, which are which are Shane Taylor and J.D. Griffey cut a promo. And Shane Taylor was talking about how Keith Lee stabbed him in the back and left him. But he wasn't bothered about it because the Shane Taylor promotions went on to be successful in Ring of Honor. And were the Ring of Honor six-man tag team champions at one point in time and everything. And then J.D. Griffey was saying... You know, I've been sitting out for a long time, but my boy Shane Taylor called me up and said, Bro, you need, you need to be successful. And to be successful, join the Shane Taylor promotions. I will get you there to success. And J.D. Griffey was talking about how he followed Shane Taylor's advice and joined the Shane Taylor promotions and how he, he's successful now that he has joined the Shane Taylor promotions, and then Shane Taylor was talking about how him and J.D. Griffey were going to beat Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland, well, Swerve in Our Glory, which are Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland, at Ring of Honor's pay-per-view event final battle and everything. Which was cool. Now, besides all that, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. The referees for the event were Paul, were Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsberg, Stefan Smith, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Paul Turner refereed the match between John Moxley versus Kanosuke Takechita. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Hikaru Shida versus The Bunny. For the Regina DeWave title, Stefan Smith refereed the match between The Firm versus Izzy James and Clayton Bloodstone, and Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Orange Cassidy versus Trent Seven for the AEW All Atlantic title. All the referees done awesome as usual. Now the match card that's been announced for All Elite Wrestling's. AEW Dynamite special event winner is coming Wednesday night. It's going to be MJF versus Ricky Starks for the AEW title and the Dynamite Diamond Ring. The Death Triangle, which are Pac, Ray Phoenix, and Pena El Cerro Mieto versus the Elite, which are Kenny Omega, Matt Jackson, and Nick Jackson in match four of the best of seven series for the AEW Trio's titles. The House of Black, which are Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews versus three local competitors, and Ruby Soho versus Ty Mello. So the match card for All Elite Wrestling special event for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite special event winner is coming. That's been announced so far. Looks like it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see it. I'm looking forward to it. And the match card for Ring of Honor's pay-per-view event final battle for today. Well, there's a pre-show and there's the main. Sh there's the pre-show and the main show. For the pre-show, it's going to be The Kingdom, which are Mike Bennett and Matt Taven versus... Top Flight, which are Dante and Darius Martin. Jeff Cobb versus Mascara Dorada. The Jericho Appreciation Society, which are Matt Menard and Angelo Parker versus the Shinobi Shadow Squad, which are Cheeseburger and Eli Isom. And Willow Nightingale versus Trisha Dora. And for the main show, it's going to be Chris Jericho versus Claudio Castagnoli for the Ring of Honor World title. Samoa Joe versus Juice Robinson for the Ring of Honor television title. Dalton Castle and the Boys, 
which are Brandon and Brent Tate versus The Embassy, which are Brian Cage, Toa Leona, and Bishop Khan for the Ring of Honor six-man tag team titles. FTR, which are Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler versus The Briscoes, which are Jay and Mark Briscoe in a double dog collar match for the Ring of Honor tag team titles. Daniel Garcia versus Wheeler Yuta for the Ring of Honor Pure title. And Mer no, no, wait, wait a minute. Mercedes Martinez versus Athena for the Ring of Honor Women's title. Swerve in Our Glory, which are Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland versus the Shane Taylor Promotions, which are Shane Taylor and J.D. Griffey. And LFI, which are Roosh and Drillistico versus A.R. Fox and Blake Christian. So the match card for Ring of Honor's pay-per-view event final battle for today for the pre-show and the main show Looks like it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see it, and I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Rampage from last night, which was December 9th, 2022. Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your fucking ass down the goddamn road. Peace out.